As part of my role with ADA, I coordinate the Disaster Resilient Australia and New Zealand Schools Education Network, or DRANZEN for short. DRANZEN and ADA's Education for Young People program promotes a future where young people are actively engaged in disaster preparedness, prevention, response and recovery. I'm pleased to be here today to recognise the great work being done across Australia to build resilience in our future generations. Across Australia, there were eight school projects submitted into this year's schools category. Four of those projects are finalists for the award today. The finalists for the National Resilient Australia School Award are Tropical North Learning Academy, Smithfield State High School in Queensland for their project, Cairns in Your Hands, Springfield Gardens Primary School in Tasmania for their project, Community Connections, St Columba's Memorial School in South Australia for their project SYP First Aid for Kids Initiative and Ivanhoe Primary School in Victoria for their project Where's Wally House Points Hunting? Coincidentally, my own primary school. You can read more about all of our finalists on the ADA website. The judging panel have awarded a highly commended and a winner for the school award. The highly commended award goes to St Columba's Memorial School in South Australia for their project SYP First Aid for Kids Initiative. I invite Katie Hughes to join us on stage to collect the award. The SYP First Aid for Kids Initiative delivered age appropriate first aid, disaster resilience and wellbeing sessions to over 350 primary school aged children and their teachers. Congratulations to the students and staff of St Columba's Memorial School. This is a fantastic example of empowering our youth and young people. And now, without further ado, the winner of the 2022 Resilient Australia National School Award is Tropical North Learning Academy, Smithfield State High School in Queensland for their project, Cans in Your Hands. We have a short video about the Cans in Your Hands project. Cans in Your Hands project was designed to look at local issues, uh, in particular local issues around sea level rise and natural hazards and how we can build the resilience of Cairns to ensure its sustainability into the future. Cans in Your Hands took place over five days it was a combination of five different high schools in the area. The first couple of days we spent listening to stakeholders such as sustainability officers from the Cairns Regional Council and lecturers from James Cook University. And we taught the students about sea level rise, resilience and natural disasters and their potential impacts on Cairns. The following day we were spent uh, in the Cairns CBD investigating areas around the Cairns CBD which were at risk from sea level rise and natural disasters. We then went over to Green Island and looked at how that's being affected by sea level rise and natural disasters. And then the students came back for another couple of days where they created their coastal adaptation strategy and presented that to our stakeholders. The students benefited from the project in many ways. To start with, it built their 21st century skills as participants in society. So it was all around critical thinking, creativity, being able to collaborate with each other. But on a more local level, it also taught them about the risks we, we share in Cairns and why we need to make it more resilient for the future. I'm most proud of the students because they really took a great interest in this. They collaborated across multiple schools, they worked with stakeholders and they saw the real impact that they could make in the community and especially being able to contribute to such an important document such as the Cairns Coastal Adaptation Strategy, which is one of its only kind in Australia. So having input into that really empowered the students to bring their learning to life. Congratulations to Smithfield State High School. This is an important project to empower our youth and develop their thinking skills when it comes to coastal hazard adaptation. Congratulations once again to St. Columbus Memorial School and Smithfield State High School. I'm told staff and students from both schools are viewing today's live stream. So to them, again, I say congratulations. And please, students, it's the end of term four. Go easy on your teachers when celebrating. Well done.